Hey family, I just came in from uh, doing my walk, praise God, I finished. I was going to uh, record when I was out there because the Lord gave me this word, but um, it was hot out there, that sun was beaming, so I was like, yeah, I think I'll wait until I'm done. Uh, I just went ahead and soaked up the sun because my doctor told me, get this one, she said that I am low on vitamin D. She said I don't uh, get enough exposure to the sun and I was like, hmm? Like where they do that at? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not a vampire so I was like man I remember those days when my son played football I was out in the in the sun from morning till when the sun went down so yeah this is a different season isn't it so I was getting my son in but you know while I was out there on the track um, and I was walking and there were so many people walking to you know the Lord showed me something uh, about the spirit of comparison it really is a very tricky thing and there is no there's no win in, when we compare it's a lose-lose and I, I'll tell you why uh, anytime that we compare ourselves to somebody else we're either going to become prideful or we're gonna become discouraged uh, we either become prideful because we think that we're better than they are or we become discouraged because we think we're less than they are um, you know when I'm out there um, on the track the first couple of days I got out there I, I kind of struggled with that a little bit because there were people out there that were some were walking just like me um, some were doing a kind of a slow trot and then some were just you know full out running you know and here I was just kind of walk in and moping along at first and so um, you know there was the temptation to want to look at them and go man you know make me feel some type of way that I need to be moving faster or, or what have you and so but then you know today uh, when I got out there I was walking kind of slow and and there was a couple in front of me and um, and I was, you know, on my way to passing them. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, well, good, I'm glad to know I'm not the slowest person out here, right? But man, I tell you what, I, that, that spirit of comparison is tricky. Um, it's, it's, it's crafty, it's slick. Because as I passed them and I said good afternoon, um, the, the woman looked like she had some sort of physical ailment. You know um, and immediately I prayed for her and then second I repented I said you know what God um, we don't know what people go through to be where they are you know it made me think about we're all running a race and it's so easy man for us to look at other people and judge them and criticize them but we don't know what they're running with we don't know what they're walking with some people are walking with depression real heavy some people are walking with suicidal thoughts you know some people are are, are walking with anxiety and fear but guess what they're still walking and they may not be walking as as swiftly as we are but praise God they're in the race right because the Bible tells us that the race is not given to those who are the fastest and it's not even uh, given to those who finish first it's given to those who endure and so I looked at this woman and I thought man you know I thank God because my biggest um, you know struggle if you will is my mind I just got to get my mindset to get out there but for somebody who not only has to battle the mental but the physical and they are out in the race yeah we gotta we, we gotta salute them you know we gotta pray for them we gotta encourage them and so um, you know amazingly enough you know I, I, it also made me think of another thing you know that we should not judge an unkept bed and what I'm talking about is, um, you know, years ago, I made it up in my mind that when I got up every morning that I would make my bed before I leave uh, for the day and before I get my day going. And I remember visiting a friend some years ago and man, her bed was just as messy as all day in, in the middle of the afternoon. And I almost wanted to feel some type of way about it. But here's what the Lord showed me. You know, when we look at an unkept bed, we have no idea what's going on because that unkept bed could be from a person who's been laying in it for four days depressed battling struggling 
demons, demonic forces, and the day that God gave them that revelation, that inspiration, they jumped up out of the bed and they couldn't care less about making the bed. All they wanted to do was just get up and get out. You know what I'm saying? So again, it's just, you know, that's just a another example that we've got to be careful about, about judging. And so, I mean, not judging, well, judging, yes, and comparing, right? So... There is a tendency sometimes to want to be out on the on the track by myself. Because if I'm out there by myself, then you know there's nobody around me. But guess what? How do I know if I'm moving too slow? How do I know if I'm moving too fast? Right? You know, others around me kind of give me a temperature of, of how I'm moving. And and it helps me too to kind of settle into you know what's my pace. You know, my pace in my race. I'm not running your race. You're not running mine. We're, we're running. Our race is as unique to each of us as our calling, as our giftings, as our identity is, right? And so, you know, you ever watch how people finish races? People finish races in all kind of unique ways. Some people run across the finish line. They pump in their fists, right? Some people walk, you know, uh, run across and they are weeping. And some people, you know, run across and they collapse because it took everything they had. That's why it's just important to just be in the race, endure, right? So rather than compare, this is what I say, you know, let's thank God for those who are running ahead of us running at a pace that's faster than us and let it inspire us not to be like them but to be our best us right to be my best me uh to find out what is you know my uh my strongest pace for me um and then allow those who are not moving as fast as we are number one to help us be grateful because we can always remember when we weren't moving as fast, right? So we got to say, wow, thank you, God. I remember when I was there. And I thank you I'm not there anymore. But God, strengthen that person. Bless him. Bless her. Give them what they need, you know, to be able to come, become stronger. So I, I just want to share that with you today. When we compare, it's we never win. It's a lose-lose scenario. Yeah, so... Let's not, let's not compare. Let's be grateful for where we are. Thank God for where you are. It could be that we're not in the race at all. <laughs> let's just be grateful to be in the numbers, y'all. God has given us another day. Let's be thankful for it. And let's be thankful for where, wherever we are, wherever you are in your race. Just thank God. Right now, wherever you are, just say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. My pace, my race. Amen. Whew, if this message has uh, encouraged you, share it with somebody and let them know it's okay. Your pace, your race. Don't compare. I love you, family. And thanks again for all of your comments and your words of encouragement. I, I so, I just, I'm inspired by all of you. I'm encouraged by each of you and I love each of you. Have a blessed and awesome day.